Hello again. Now I'm always on the lookout for interesting looking records and this one caught my eye and um, it's got a nice HMV logo on there, special recording, stamped copy and the other side's the same. And it's a bit mouldy so I'm going to try cleaning it. Now I'm not entirely sure what it's made out of. The sleeve which is here, a personal recording by his master's voice, 363 Oxford Street. It has an interesting piece of text on there that says, Important, this record is unbreakable, but it's made of a softer surface than an ordinary record. It must be treated with reasonable care. The best results are obtained with a lightweight pickup using a miniature steel or sapphire needle. In all other cases, please use a trailer needle, fibre and thorn needles, are not recommended. The pickup should be lowered gently onto the record by hand. It is inadvisable to play this record on a portable gramophone or other non-electric machine. And this is typed, although actually you can't feel um, the imprint behind, so it may actually be um, sort of photocopied, I suppose. Um, now, there's no mention as to um, the speed of the record. Um, the suggestion that it is a softer service than normal records suggests that normal records um, were 78s. So this probably dates from um, no later than the 1940s. Or maybe very early 1950s as uh, vinyl records and 45s and 33s came in around about 1950. So, I'd like to play it, but first of all, I'm going to need to clean it. Now, I've done a very, very quick test around one of the edges here with a little bit of water and um, a little cleaning stick or I mean, Q-tip, um, cotton bud, I think is the term I'd use. Um, and it seems to be lifting the... Um, the mould off. So I'm going to carry on cleaning that um, and then play it on a suitable record player and see what's actually on it. Okay so here it is. It's uh, not cleaned up particularly well. The water certainly had an effect and did help a little bit but um, to be honest I was really reluctant to try anything stronger than water uh, just in case it lifted the surface off. I think it uh, could be some sort of uh, lacquer type material that might dissolve in alcohol. And I'm going to use this uh, rather beat up portable BSR deck here. Uh, this is an ITT KB stereo um, from the 70s. Uh, I did try using my radiogram, my Philips radiogram, but the record uh, just wouldn't spin cleanly on it, uh, it just rubbed. I've checked the weight of the stylus on this and it's about 5.3 grams which should be absolutely fine and I've got the uh, stylus set for um, the 78 setting. Neither hast thou any pity for thine infant boy, 
nor for me, for long, but soon shall be thy widow. For soon will the Achaeans all set upon thee and slay thee. But it were better for me to go down to the grave if I lose thee, for never more will any comfort be mine when once thou, even thou, hast met thy fate, but only sorrow. Moreover, I have no father nor lady mother, and the seven brothers that were mine within our hall, all these on the self-same day went within the house of Hades. Nay, Hector, thou art to me father and lady mother, yea, and brother, even that thou art my goodly husband. Come now, have pity, and abide here upon the tower, lest thou make thy child an orphan, and thy wife a widow. Ilios. 
Then may men say of him, far greater is he than his father, as he returneth home from battle. And may he bring with him blood-stained spoils from the foemen he hath slain. And may his mother's heart be glad. So there we are. It does play. I think the mould on it um, contributes uh, quite a bit to the surface noise. As to the uh, the contents, well, um, clearly a bit of piano in there, and a lady reciting um, a classical piece, um, something to do with the uh, the Trojan Wars, um, possibly Homer's Iliad. Um, I'm really uh, not that well versed on uh, the subject to. Uh, to say any more, um, but uh, why it's been recorded onto this uh, rather unusual record? Uh, it's not a unique record. There's clearly um, some sort of production run, um, possibly only you know two or three, um, but it's not a master, as far as I can tell, uh, recorded in a recording studio, and it is clearly marked copy, which suggests that it is a copy of uh, another record. Um, but it is a bit of a mystery. Obviously, if you've got any information, I would be uh, very happy to hear about it, uh, either uh, concerning this particular record or just um, about these special recordings that uh, HMV clearly made for people. OK, that's it for now. Thanks for watching, and if you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe to Mr. RG Stuff.